Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here in Key West, Florida, and I'm here at the Kimpton Key West. Now, what's the Kimpton Key West? Well, it's not just one hotel, but five hotels. I'm here with Megan Cosito, who's the uh, Director of Sales for Kimpton Key West, and we're going to find out all about this great property. I only stayed in one of them, but I'm, I'm hopefully I'll get a chance to see the others. And you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Megan, first of all, uh, thank you so much for your hospitality. We've been here a couple days, and we really have enjoyed Key West. I've been here uh, by a cruise ship a few times, but never really stayed. And this time, we got a chance to do a lot of different st things. And now, now, tell us a little bit about K Kimpton Key West. First of all, as I mentioned, it's not one property, it's five, right? Right, right that is right. We have five properties. Um, Kimpton Key West came online in 2020, uh, March, and we did a full renovation. Um, leading up into that from August on. Unfortunately, right after we branded. A little thing called COVID came Yes, out, right? we had to shut down the island and um, the hotels as well. So then slowly we reopened them, um, starting with our largest property, Winslow's Bungalows. Mm -hmm. That one has 85 rooms. We have Lighthouse Hotel with 45 rooms. Fitch Lodge with 44 rooms. We have where you're staying right here, the Ridley House that's 23 rooms and Ellis Cottages at 22 rooms. That's great. Now we're gonna go sort of bit one by one here, but let's start with this one, the one I stayed in. This is one of the smaller properties. It's great for groups, but talk a little bit about Ridley House. Sure, Ridley House, um, like I said, is 23 rooms. Um, we have all king beds at this property. Um, it, is going, it is an adult only property that um, is perfect for couples, honeymooners, um, you know, p couples coming down together as groups, even. Or even buyouts. Or you even can buy buyouts. Right. Yeah, it's perfect for buyouts. Um, it is closest to the harbor. So you're actually in a great spot here where you're only two blocks from the historic Key West Harbor and also two blocks from Duval Street. So great location to get out and see everything that Key West has to offer. It's all um, within walking distance, within too. I mean, it's amazing. Everything we've done is really is, is within walking distance, and it's been really great. Now, you have another uh, property that's kind of small, too Ellis Cottages, right? Right. Ellis Cottages. Is our, is our smallest. Um, those rooms uh, with the 22 range from a single king up to a two bedroom suite. So it is good for everybody. It's good for couples coming down again, groups, again, a buyout for our, a large incentive group or families coming for weddings. Um, also family families coming that are four people, six people because of the two bedroom suites. It's located also walkable to everything in Key West. Duval Street's only one block away. It is located more into the LGBTQ area of Duval Street, right by the Rainbow Sidewalk, right by Aqua you know, Nightclub and, and more of the wine bar area as well, what we say in Key West. Um, but again, it's in the quiet side of Duval Street, but right in the center of everything. Another great property. Now, let's move on to the Lighthouse Hotel. I assume that's near a lighthouse? The Lighthouse Hotel is exactly right. It is next door to the Lighthouse Museum, and um, it is 45 rooms. It's also right across from Hemingway's house. So two great historic locations to visit. We kind of say it's the hotel by all the historic neighbors. Um, it's walkable again, just like all of our other properties to Duval Street, only one block off Duval, located on Whitehead. It's the closest to Fort Zachary Taylor State Park. Um, for beach access. Um, again, it's by a famous Green Parrot Bar, so walkable to that. Um, southernmost points, only a few blocks as well. Um, it ranges from single essential queen rooms up to two bedroom suites, and we also have our famous Hemingway suite there, which is great for uh, bridal parties to get ready in. It's a two-story uh, loft-style suite with a full kitchen. Um, it has a dining table for six, a wraparound balcony that you can see the Hemingway house from, and that property is great for anything from couples, families, to wedding parties. That sounds fantastic. Now let's move on to a slightly larger property, uh, Fitch Lodge. That's 45 rooms? Fitch is actually 44 rooms. 44. It's um, located also close to the harbor here, like we are at Ridley House. Um, it is great for people coming off the ferry that comes in from Fort Myers, because you can kind of just wheel your suitcase right over there. It's a great property for those coming that kind of want to be that Key West Explorer. It's a little bit smaller with the outdoor communal areas, mm -hmm. but it again, it has that Kimpton brand, it has the comfortable beds, it has the cleanliness, it has the hospitality that Kimpton's known for. Um, it's uh, walking walkable to the harbor, walkable to Duval Street, um, but it's um, great for that person that's coming to kind of go out and see Key West all day, 
spend the day fishing or spend the day at the museums and just wants a great place to rest their head at night. That sounds great. Now, well, let's move to your sort of your largest property, Winslow Bungalows. Now, that's that's a monster. It's, yes. it's like 85 rooms or more. Yes, for us, that's our largest. Um, it used to be two hotels down here when we purchased it. We combined them to create an 85 room resort style feel hotel it has three pools it has a pool bar um, it's located also on the opposite end of duval from where we're at right now but still walkable to everything it's in the quieter end of duval street um, it is an expansive property with starting with single queen essential rooms um, and then we go up to what we call our treehouse suite which is located on the third floor overlooking the property um, but in the middle we have you know anywhere from a king room to a couple suites on property as well as rooms with two queen beds. That sounds fantastic. Now, uh, talk a little bit about, you know, what kind of programming do you have here? I know you're trying to, you're kind of all in with the locals anyway. You're all over the place. I mean, this this property alone has different buildings that you go into and you're in, in, interspersed with uh, really, you know, personal homes. So uh, what, are the, what kind of program do you have to sort of live like a local? So we really, um, with Kimpton, we like to tie into the local community and Key West is a great place to do that because there are so many great local businesses and entrepreneurs entrepreneurs. Um, we have a lot of activities that go on on property and by staying at one hotel you can definitely go to the other hotels and experience them. For example we have aqua yoga, we have yoga on the greens, we bring in um, Key West Trading Company for an, their absinthe tasting which is actually Hemingway's real favorite drink not okay. not the daiquiri but not the, the daiquiri. absinthe. I've, I've been, I mean I've been drinking daiquiris all the time thinking I'm drinking Hemingway, Hemingway. Yeah. Yeah. but no I got to drink more absinthe. Right? Yes exactly and that is a uh, tasting is usually done at Lighthouse because we're across from Hemingway. Uh, we bring in Mutiny Vodka, which is um, distilled in the islands, but they are um, really bringing in the breadfruit trees from Big Pine, which is only about 50 miles up. We bring the breadfruit in, do tastings with the vodkas, and it really ties in the island. Um, we have a lot of local live music. Um, we also pair with the Waterfront Brewery, which is the first Key West brewery to have um, to brew their own beer down here in the Keys. Um, and they make our passion fruit shandy. It's a canned beer called Cayo Yeah, that's the first thing I think I got handed, I offered that the minute I walked in, right? Yes, that's our welcome beverage. So with Kimpton, typically there's a wine hour, but because everybody is going out and about for happy hour and sunset, we have our own special twist and we do a welcome boozy arrival because we know most people are gonna be out and about during that time. No, that's great. And uh, we did have our beer and we got an alternative too, but it was, it was fun to be welcomed in that way and get sort of the, in the Key West spirit right away right. Because, uh, because because obviously there are no bars here at no, all. No, nothing, nothing, to, nothing, see nothing to see here. No, yeah. I think you're, uh, there's, there's no property that's not within about less than a half a mile of a bar, if, right. if, if, if sooner, if, if closer. Right. Right. Just right. a few blocks, actually, is probably your first one here. I know, and we've already <laughs> tried a few. But uh, now talk a little bit about maybe some of the other amenities. As one, most people know, Kempton is actually pretty pet friendly, yes. right? Correct. So Kimpton is completely pet friendly. Pets stay free. Our motto is if it can fit in the door, it's welcome to stay. We have uh, pet beds, pet water bowls if you need them. We also do custom Kimpton dog treats um, that we give out. Um, but again, if it, if it fits through that door, whatever size it is, it can stay with us. And it's completely small, free. Small horses is just it, okay? It can, yeah. Like a donkey, anything. <laughs> I don't know about that, but we'll, we'll, uh, I didn't bring, I, thank God I didn't bring a donkey. But uh, Now, uh, anything else you want to, we got about 105,000 travel advisors out there and they're looking for places to book here in uh, Key West. Anything else you want to tell them about th this group of properties. I, I almost call it the Key West uh, collection, Kimpton Key West collection, yes. really. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, you know, what makes us different is we are five boutique properties. It's a very different uh, spin on regular Kimptons. Mm -hmm. We still have all of the Kimpton touch with the you know, comfortable beds, the, like you said. And the, the drinks. And the drinks. <laughs> the um, pets stay free. Um, we really like to bring in the, the local culture and we bring it to the property but we also you know are are well tied to the community with sponsorships of different events but what makes these hotels stand out is 
they're very Key West. You know, and you really get a Key oh, West. Fit, I mean, we felt, I mean, you don't even know that this is the hotel. You Sometimes I, I almost walked into somebody else's house one time because they're right next door. And was like, where do I go? They're the exact same type of wonderful construction house they date from, I don't know when. Uh, early 1900s, most of them. Um, and, you know, you really get that personalized feeling when you're staying with us. Um, the front desk agents, the supervisors, they do a really good job of making you feel like it's almost your home and that you're just part of the community. You can sit on your patio, watch the locals walk by, watch the other, you know, tourists coming and going, but you just really feel like you're part of the island and you're not lost in the shuffle of something that's like a big hotel. Um, Kimptons are, again, usually bigger hotels, but down here, we've done something very unique and tailored it to the island. So you really feel the culture and you really feel you know what it's like to be here well it's not just living like a local it's staying like a yes. local because you're staying in places that are, are very similar to all the other surrounding buildings now where can travel advisors go to get more information on Kimpton Key West um, you can go to our website which is KimptonKeyWest.com um, there you'll see an overview of the collection as a whole but then each uh, property has its own page dedicated to tell you more about what makes it you know a different property from the others so you know whether you're looking for a property that's good for um, adult only then you're gonna find the Ridley house and that will that will be distinctively on the website so you can find the details out of of what's great for your guest or the person that you're looking to book for well, Megan, I want to thank you for your hospitality. These two, two nights have been great. We're off to another place in, in, in the Keys, uh, driving up, up the Keys to Miami. Uh, but it's been great to finally get here. I, 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 I've talked to your folks before and talked about coming down here, but this is the first time for me, and it was a real eye-opener. It's like, you know, this, is, this is America's Caribbean. It's America's uh, you know, great island destination here, and you can't go wrong. Key West is a party town. It, it rivals one of my favorite party towns, New Orleans. Uh, I think of those two are they're definitely in competition but it's been a wonderful place to stay and, and experience a lot of different things and so thank you so much you're welcome thank you we'd love to have you come back and have all of your agents come try us as well i'm james Schellinglaw, and this is insider travel report